Hey everyone, welcome to Mountain Beast Mysteries. In today's video, I wanted to talk about a very interesting element of both the Patterson-Gimlin film and the Freeman footage. Now these are both very, very famous and popular examples of Bigfoot caught on video. And, um, you know, when you really dive deep into both of these stories, you can see that there's, it's, it's really hard to debunk both of them. And what I wanted to touch on was the fact that in both cases of, you know, these pieces of footage, um, Paul Freeman and Roger Patterson were both extremely willing to have academics and pretty much anyone like trying to debunk the footage, analyze, you know, the evidence gathered from those sites. So yes, there were videos shot of the Sasquatch creatures, but in both cases, there were also a significant amount of footprints that were cast. And in both cases, each individual was willing to have the evidence, the, the track casts, analyzed by people, you know, and actually like put under the microscope. So if you were hoaxing Bigfoot footage, you wouldn't probably go that far as to not only make the Bigfoot tracks, but cast them and have them closely examined because that's where your hoax is going to fall apart for sure. It's very easy for an individual who's been studying Sasquatch for a really long time, people like Jeff Meldrum or any of the old guard, like the Four Horsemen, like, you know, Rene DeHinden and John Green and all those people, Grover Krantz. Um, if they analyze these track casts, it'd be very easy for them to determine if they were a hoax. So to, to be able to cast those tracks and um, have them, you know, stand the test of time and to be scrutinized for, you know, many, many years and it's, they, they still haven't really been debunked. So like the Patterson tracks are essentially like what everything else is compared to nowadays. Those are like a prime example of Sasquatch tracks and, um, have been determined by the most knowledgeable people in the Bigfoot world to be legitimate. So if you hoaxed the Patterson footage, not only did you hoax the actual creature itself and the footage, and to do it in a way that is so incredible and so incredibly realistic, but you also hoaxed the most realistic Sasquatch tracks ever cast, pretty much. Um, and then you're willing to have it analyzed by, you know, experts in the Bigfoot field, the people who hold the most knowledge and have spent the most time out in the woods and spent the most time actually studying these things. You're letting them analyze the track casts, looking at the dermal ridges and all the, the features that are unique to each trackway. Like it's the same thing with like the Paul Freeman footage, as I said, like he had cast a lot of tracks and you can actually see the tracks at the beginning of his video of the Freeman footage, you can see them in the ground and, and they had been looked at by, you know, Jeff Meldrum and there's stuff going on in those tracks that even Paul Freeman didn't know about, you know, he knew there were Sasquatch tracks. He knew he was having Sasquatch activity and he, you know, had experiences, but he didn't know the, the fine details about the tracks that like Jeff Meldrum knew. So it was kind of shocking to him to find out that, you know, there's stuff in these tracks that are, very similar to Patty. And uh, according to Jeff Meldrum, there's no signs of like Paul Freeman being aware of these things, you know, prior to him being told by Jeff Meldrum. So very interesting. So that leads me to believe that the Freeman footage is genuine. And I was kind of skeptical about it, to be honest, when I first started getting into this. I, um, I felt like his reactions on video were kind of like cheesy and seemed like bad acting, but after looking into the story and how it was investigated and, you know, learning about the trackways and it's led me to believe that it's more than likely real. And, um, you know, I've always believed in my gut that the Patterson footage was real anyways, even despite there being tracks, it just looks like a real creature to me. And it's the best video evidence we've ever gathered to date. And I don't know if it'll ever be beaten by anything else in the future. So that is 
all I wanted to really talk about in this video is that having trace evidence gathered on site of where the footage was filmed after the creatures walked through and being willing to have it analyzed really reinforces your your footage you know if you're willing to to go out there and to, to hand the stuff over to you know the scientific community and academics it really says something you know about your honesty and that you you don't want to hide anything you know so there's a lot of <laughs> a lot most of the examples of bigfoot footage out there don't have any other evidence to back it up when if it was a real creature the, there would certainly be something that you could gather on site so i don't know i want to know what you guys think do you guys think the freeman footage is real i mean when you look at it it, it looks very similar to patty so unfortunately the quality of that video is extremely low just due to the format that it was shot on but it's better than nothing and like i said there was all the other evidence gathered to back it up that has been scrutinized closely throughout the years so that's all i wanted to talk about in today's video if you want to support mountain beast mysteries you can do so through the gofundme link in the description below every donation helps to create this content and bring it to you guys free on youtube so Thanks for watching this video. See you next time. Mountain Beast Mysteries.